Hey everybody, it's Steve, and I owe you guys a bit of an apology. I thought I recorded my playthrough of Mission 5 Into the Wild Green Yonder, which is in Chapter 12 of the Star Realms campaign. When I went to look at my recorded videos, it wasn't there. So I'm redoing the video right now. I do have all the achievements done, but I'm still going to record the gameplay for you all to see. And let's see if we can replicate my previous success. The Ariadne Shipyard is a floating wreck as it should be. However, signals you intercepted indicate there is another shipyard deep inside Blob territory. You cautiously calculate the safest path through. You have no desire to provoke a Blob attack. It turns out that the machine cult has dropped their usual reticence concerning outsiders. The Chrome Domes appear to be working with the Blobs and they appear to be constructing a terrifying monstrosity of a base. Organic and machine parts have combined to form a nightmare of design. To your surprise, your hails get a response. This is the unity, and it will be defended. You gather that they are not talking about the base, but the combined hive mind of both races. The blobs and the machine cult move as one. And you must fight your way out. Okay, the achievements for this mission. Win with more Star Empire cards than Scouts in your deck, more Trade Federation cards than Scouts in your deck, and a little bit of both. Rules for this one, Unity will get one combat at the start of its turn automatically, but the player will get one trade. Let's hop into this and quickly duck out for a moment to turn the sound down. Then we'll hop back into the mission itself. So we're starting off with a pseudo standard deck. We have seven scouts, two vipers, but we also have a night star, which is great if the enemy has a base in play, because this card ends up giving you nine attack every turn. The unity has eight scouts, one viper, a war kite, which gives it five attack every turn, and a pro bot, which gives it a trade and the ability to scrap if needed. Now, like I said, I do have that extra trade coming down each turn, but it has that extra attack. So I need to build up a pretty hefty defense force pretty quick. I'll grab the Oracle, even though I don't get, or I do get the, the buy bonus from it, and I can start scrapping some cards out early. I really don't want to get the Battle Bot, but it looks like I'm going to end up getting it. War Kite is a great pickup because it gives you that 5 attack, and if it has a base in play, just wipe it out and keep on moving. I'd love to have enough to get the Leviathan or the Factory World. The Leviathan's kind of my go-to right now, mainly because of what it can offer me, which is a boatload of attacking. I um, really don't want to scrap any of these cards in my hand. I have one... Two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to hit no here on this. And I'm going to grab the Supply Depot. Doesn't give me a ton in the way of defense, but its ability is pretty decent, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go right through my Oracle, but I'm saving up a little bit of uh, defenses here. Not enough to do any buying. This is a Expensive trade row right now. Lowest cost, two sixes and three eights. See, I've got two, three buying coming down this turn. Uh, I'm actually going to scrap the scout because I want to have the viper to do some more attacking. He's down to ten. There's no way I'm getting these achievements right now just with the fact I can't get anything out of the trade row. Um, there we go. I can get something out. I'll get the incinerator. And I can put the Plasma Vent into my hand, but I'm going to go for the Factory World. Again, it's not possible with how this trade deck has come up. If there were lower cost cards, I'd be all over it, but that ain't happening right now. Wow. I have one authority left. Well... I've got nine attacks, so I'm going to go for the trade on this one. Maybe. I haven't even, I don't think I've even scrapped. I've got three here, four, five. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I got one of the achievements. 
If I was able to get, I should have been scrapping scouts every time the oracle was coming into play, but a little disappointed I wasn't able to get all three in my first go at this. So even though I did not get all three achievements, you of course can go back and play this mission multiple times to collect all the achievements that you may have missed. Alright, that is going to wrap it up for my second attempt at Mission 5 in Chapter 12 of the Star Realms campaign. Check back tomorrow to see how I do going up against the boss, the Unity Hive Mind.